branch in Lodgegrass, uh, 200 pair operation down there. Uh, became a uh, land surveyor, went to school in Kalispell, uh, <clears throat> and of course, Native American uh, and uh, Crow to be exact. Uh, but what I recognize and what I push for, which is the administration's agenda to support Rosendale, we found a lot of common ground, more common ground. Because as the Crow, just to give you an idea, the misunderstanding is the federal government gives the tribe money to go to college. That's not true. Second thing is, oh, those Indians live off of welfare, off the government. That's not true. The revenues that we derive off of our coal and other natural resources, as well as our agriculture, that's how we support our youth. That's how we support our elders. But the misunderstandings kind of put us in a, in a, in a large disadvantage. So economically, we try to produce, we try to be uh, a contributor to society. Yet, when you look at the politics at the national level, they say, oh, Chairman Not Afraid, we're sorry that uh, we took your land, therefore, why don't we give you a grant? Yeah. Next thing is, okay, we gave you a grant, but here's the stipulations that are acquired to handle that grant. Just enough to fail, I guess you could call it, as I, I review the past history and transactions of the Crow tribe, even with uh, uh, the spotlight of mismanagement of federal funds. My job is to clean house, and I have common ground with Mr. Rosendale, not only with a pay cut, but also backing down the budget. And it's a difficult task because at times when people are used to a government that just spends and spends and spends like a consumer, that's a wake up call when you say, hey, we're not gonna do this anymore because in order for the longevity of the tribe to surpass my life existence, we need to do something about it now. Hence, the direction of Rosendale and President Trump fits the agenda of the Crow tribe, both domestically and internationally. We have a lot of international partners that show up every other month. We're seeing that same red tape that was talked about by Senator Paul of the federal government intervening. How could the Crow tribe engage with Egypt, Cairo, or uh, UAE, or all these uh, other uh, wealthy nations willing to buy a resource from the Crow, which technically benefits the state of Montana? The realities are there that the Crow tribe has been a contributor to society, but the stereotype, the profiles, and so forth have put us in a different position. So now the Crow is standing up to say, we can develop our own resources with or without grants. We can develop our own people with or without federal monies. So again, that agenda fits the Crow today to side with the administration and Matt Rosendale. Thank <laughs> you.